Welcome to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm Jill Melandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. Joining me at the market site, we have Dawn Song. She is the founder of Oasis Labs and a professor in the Department of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science at UC Berkeley. She's also the co-director of Blockchain and Web3, also at UC Berkeley. She's been recognized for her contributions in computer security through numerous prestigious awards, and she is ranked the most cited scholar in computer security. Today we will learn more about Oasis Labs, the privacy first cloud computing platform and Oasis Network, the leading privacy enabled and scalable layer one blockchain network. Dawn joins me from SmartCon 2022 taking place in New York City, which brings together industry luminaries from Web 2 and Web 3, including top thought leaders, researchers, builders, and more. Dawn, it's great to have you with us at MarketSite. Welcome to Trade Talks. Great, thanks for having me here. Let's talk about Oasis Labs. What makes your company unique? Uh, great. So Oasis is built on a strong technical foundation, and in particular, Oasis actually has three key technical innovations since its founding. So first, um, Oasis is a, layer, uh, is a next generation uh, new blockchain architecture, and actually it's the first one that proposes this modular um, architecture of separating execution from consensus to enable blockchain to have much greater scalability. So now actually everybody talks about this uh, modern architecture of separating execution from consensus, but Oasis actually from 2018, four years ago, was the very first one to uh, propose it and to, to build it uh, four years before actually everybody else today uh, that's been talking about it. Um, so that's the first, uh, the first key innovation. A second key innovation is because of the separating of execution from consensus, this layered uh, modular architecture for this new blockchain um, architecture that Oasis has, we are also able to provide uh, much stronger privacy capabilities as well as part of a privacy computing layer uh, for the Oasis architecture. So we are actually uh, enabling this new privacy computing capability in conjunction uh, with blockchain also. And then finally, uh, the key innovation that all these technologies combined together enables Oasis to actually enable new types of use cases um, that help us to assetize data to create a new type of assets that we call data assets and help users to maintain control of their data and at the same time to enable data to be utilized in a privacy preserving way. Tell me about uh, a newly launched product called Sapphire. Okay, yes, yeah, so, so this relates to the Oasis unique privacy computing capabilities. Right. So today, for example, on Ethereum and other um, permissionless blockchains and in general, all the transactions and all the data on chain is all public. But as we move forward, we want to have mass adoption of blockchain technologies. Think about it if a company uh, uses blockchain to do their, uh, to, to pay their employees, right. our, our users use blockchain to, to do purchase and so on. So such data, you actually don't want it to be public on chain. And hence, as we move forward for privacy protection, it's absolutely essential that we provide much better privacy capabilities uh, for blockchain. And that's what Sapphire is. For Sapphire is the first and only confidential EVM. So today, any uh, Solidity smart contracts uh, that you can easily move into this Sapphire confidential EVM environment so that uh, the applications get out of the box confidentiality for the contract uh, state, and hence users get um, uh, privacy protection. Tell me about some of the recent work that your team has been doing with Meta, the company formerly known as Facebook. Yes, we are really excited about that project. Uh, so we are the, uh, a technology partner with Meta in this case to help uh, launch a first of its kind uh, privacy preserving AI model fairness assessment in the real world. So this has been rolled out to Instagram users. So Oasis developed these privacy technologies to enable this actually to become a reality. What do you see as the biggest opportunities in the blockchain space right now? And that's a very good question. So I think definitely, as I mentioned, privacy is absolutely missing and it's absolutely e essential. So um, with Oasis' new technology of Sapphire, this confidential EVM, we really hope that this can be a game changer uh, for that. What does the future and the roadmap look like for Oasis? So Oasis will continue to push forward uh, in our development. Uh, so Sapphire, as I mentioned, I think, uh, again, this is a real a game changer. And actually, for anyone who is using uh, who, uh, Solidity Smart Contracts, using uh, these applications, there's actually, uh, there's no reason, there's no downside for using Sapphire. There's only upside to provide stronger security and stronger privacy protection and with automatic uh, MEV protection. So there's no front running for users' uh, transactions as well. 
Uh, so uh, we are continuing to push uh, forward on that, and also we, are, we have works in the in the uh, in the pipeline, uh, working on uh, identity and other privacy computing areas as well. You have a lot of projects going on. To wrap up here, let's talk about Chainlink SmartCon. What are some of the topics that you're expecting? What are some of the key themes that you're going to hear from the event this week? Yes, I think the event is really really exciting. Actually, tomorrow morning I'll be giving a talk on uh, on decentralized identity and data sovereignty. So I look forward to, uh, right, to joining the conference then as well. Okay, Don, we appreciate you joining us at Market Site. Thank you so much, and thanks for joining me. I'm Jill Melandrino, Global Markets Reporter at Nasdaq.